Welcome back to Morning in America. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is facing backlash for a report highlighting 16 separate parties allegedly held at his Downing Street offices at the height of the UK's COVID lockdown, from a bring-your-own-booze garden party to Christmas and birthday celebrations, to a party thrown on the eve of Prince Philip's funeral, where the Queen sat alone following social distancing guidelines, unlike Prime Minister Johnson, who is apologizing again. I get it, and I will fix it. And I want to say... I want to say sorry. And I'm sorry for the things we simply didn't get right, and also sorry for the way that this matter has been handled. I feel like there's more to this story. Uh, Julia Manchester joining us now from The Hill. I want to talk about this, but I also want to talk about the larger issue of world leaders not leading by example. How big of a problem is this for Prime Minister uh, Johnson? He's facing criticism now from both the Labour Party and his own Conservative Party. I'd like to think there was a reasonable reason for why these events happened. Yeah, good morning, Adrian. It's really ironic to see how all of this played out. Remember, Boris Johnson was actually one of the first world leaders to come down with COVID, and it was a very serious case of COVID. If you remember, he was even in the hospital. So you would think a leader like him would understand the severity, the seriousness of the situation. However, this report appears to tell a very different story. You know, looking at the lockdown in the UK, Adrian, it was very different than what we saw here in the United States, much more strict. For example, there were points where, uh, you know, if you were living in the country, you could only be outside with a certain number of people at a time. You know, large gatherings were not permitted. We saw the British people, as well as people around the world, not being able to spend holidays or celebrations with their family. Like you said, at Prince Philip's funeral, the Queen had to sit alone and members of the royal family were very much socially distanced during a time of mourning. So, it very much paints Boris Johnson as a hypocrite. And he's not only getting criticism from the members of the Labour Party, the Liberal Opposition Party in the UK, but also from conservative members of parliament, including former Prime Minister Theresa May. However, at the moment, Boris Johnson seems to be in the clear, as in he's not appearing to want to step down. He's apologizing in his cabinet, which are elected members of parliament as well, are not calling on him to step down. So in the moment, it's safe. But this backlash is very much m mounting against him. Well, I, I mean, it's played out a bit here at home as well. Gavin Newsom just this weekend, maskless with Magic Johnson at the Rams game in 2020. We remember uh, the governor attending a birthday party with lobbyists at French Laundry. That was the same year that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was seen maskless at a hair salon. And then more recently, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez maskless in Miami. As adamant as some leaders are that we need to have these restrictions, would, I, I would think that a lot of people are seeing a double standard. Absolutely. And I think you have members of both parties maybe uh, breaking these protocols and being maskless or not socially distancing properly. And then you have their opponents very much playing, trying to play political football with them. And the American people are sort of caught in between. Look, these elected officials set an example for the American people. The American people also very much pay their salaries and fund um, much of their government activity. So I think there's real outlook rage when you see these political leaders essentially going against protocol or going against co co coronavirus um, restrictions or suggestions on how to socially distance and mask. And I will add that when Gavin Newsom did appear at the French Laundry and there was a big controversy over that, that was one of the events that really sparked the recall campaign against him. So there are real political consequences to these leaders that appear to be uh, practicing in very hypocritical um, behavior. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.